Hey guys, it's Charlie Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's a bit different. I, I'm i not using my usual programs, I'm actually using Adobe Illustrator. And this was a piece done for Tales of 69 Minutes on Twitter. And the theme was either Ironclad or Treasure. So, me, being the Tales of Abyss nerd that I am, decided to draw that sword that you see in Luke's mansion, which is the Jewel of Guardios. Okay, if I, I just realized how much of a spoiler this piece of work will be. Hmm. Hmm. What did I do? <laughs> so, I'll just try my best to talk about the process instead and not the thing that you see on screen. So, the Jewel of Guardios is a sword that Luke's family earned. It's a war spoil, and it's displayed in the mansion, though you don't really notice it until when it becomes relevant in the story, and to a certain someone. Damn it, I, I want to talk about it. Oh well. So, I decided to use Adobe Illustrator because it's a lot easier to do swords and weapons with it, and also because I wanted to practice using Illustrator. And since I'm a designer, if you're not if you're not aware, I do graphic design. Uh, I try my best to hone my skills and learn as much as possible as often as I can. And Adobe Illustrator is one of the industry most used things in the industry, so I really want to hone my skill. So this was actually done in 2015 of June 16, 2015. So it's been a good year since I last did it. So actually my my process with vector design is actually a bit different now. I'm a lot faster and a little bit more efficient with it. But it's just something new to the channel because I always use Sai and traditional works like watercolor. But I never actually show you guys my work as a designer. So here it is. Alright, let's talk about vectors. For those who are not familiar, vector work, um, you use shapes to build the object like you can see here. And then the shapes, you change the colors to make it look 3D-ish. So you usually use this for design like icons in your websites. Um, or you can do, yeah, you can actually do art with this. It's just really tedious and you really need to know how to manipulate color and layer color. So basically you have objects that are on top of each other to make a thing. So it's like those paper art things where you cut out a thing and then you put a layer on top and then another layer and then suddenly it's a butterfly. It's like that. Um, the thing with vector art is that it since it's kind of uses like angles and math to do its thing. Even though I don't do the math myself, it does it for me. Um, when you skip up and down within the program, within, within Adobe Illustrator, you don't really lose the quality. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Photoshop or Sai or whatever art program you use, put the image there, try to scale it up or down. When you scale it down, obviously it becomes smaller, but when you scale the thing up again, it's pixelated, you lose so much detail, you don't know what to do with yourself. With the vector, 
um, you're able to scale things up and down. It would, sh it would retain its shape and its clarity and sharpness because it uses math to do the calculating and not like squares of color. It's great for icons and for transparent icons, for um, infographics, for basically so much stuff. If you're familiar with infographics or like vi motion video graphics thing, it somewhat uses vector stuff sometimes. So you you would have seen it, but you really don't really notice it because it's like that's the goal of design. We do things nice, and you don't always really notice it until you suddenly encounter something that's difficult to use, and you're like, oh, so that's what design does. <laughs> I actually really like doing vector art, especially if it's of swords and weapons and stuff like that. I actually have... I had a project when I first started designing uh, for class that I did vector icons of the Sailor Moon character's weapons. So, like Sailor Moon's rod, um, Venus's belt, uh, Mercury... Uh, no, no, not, not Mercury. Um, Pluto and... Jupiter staff. Am I right? Or was it Saturn? I forgot. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I made vector icons of the characters' weapons. Now, it's really hard not to talk about the Jewel of Guardians because I want to talk about it, but it's a spoiler alert. <sighs> done. So I'm doing the back end now. So I'm just putting the column that it's um, mounted on and I'm putting some shadows in and then I'll put in the back end and then the text and then we're gonna be done. Yay! Oops, no, but I think I had to do more stuff. Oh well. Okay, 
Okay? Okay, yay! So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video. And if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of fan art, speed paints, uh, traditional and digital works, character designing, all that jazz. And follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. I post stuff there. And I'll see you around.